Hey guys, welcome to yet another MPC video in which we continue our last guide where we explain you how you can have your QNAP NAS server configured to use the QMobile application on the iPhone. Now what I'll show you today is how this QMobile uh, application actually works on your iPhone. We just go ahead and assume that you have downloaded it from iTunes and have installed it on your iPhone already. So this means you will have a QMobile icon added to all your applications and it's easy to start it up just by double clicking on it. The initial screen will only give you two options which is, which is automatic discovery or an add server manually which is what we did already Anaconda in our case is, is our QNAP NAS server. So when using uh, automatic discovery providing you have followed our uh, configuration guide for the QNAP NAS it will detect the QNAP NAS server, which is named Anaconda in our case, uh, with the QMobile application. It's fairly easy. Once you do this or add a server manually, you will be actually presented with an option to enter the name, the host IP name, and the user and password of the connection. And once that is done, you can actually connect to the QMobile application. Now a little thing about my jukebox, it seems as far as I can see in the preliminary uh, version of the firmware that I'm using, my jukebox is only functional with, with uh, playlists, but currently it doesn't seem to work. So the only option here would be the media center or uploading pictures and the media center will actually use the data that is stored inside your QMultimedia share on the NAS server. We went ahead and created two uh, folders, added some mp3 files and a movie file. Now, know that in case of anything you can play back using the QMobile application is limited because it can only support files that the iPhone actually uh, supports. So a, a regular DVD rip or XVID will definitely not play on your iPhone as far as our tests uh, showed. So a second thing that's really useful on this camera, since you can take pictures with your iPhone, you can upload these to your QNAP. Um, this is fairly easy done by just selecting uh, the pictures by pressing the plus button here and then select one picture each time. We would prefer QNAP changing this so we can add multiple photos in the queue, but currently there's only one. The second thing you can do is just create a new picture and that new picture will actually then be uploaded as well. Now during the upload you can select in which folder that you want to store this. We just go ahead and store it in the root folder and then this is the screen that is the upload status. You can see a little progress bar here and the image it's actually uploading at the time. So all in all we just need not many settings to work with it because it's fairly predefined what you can or cannot do with the software. We have a global auto lock setting and enable cellular data phone which we would not recommend but because it could become costly to not use it uh, for wireless only. And then the my jukebox cache settings which is set to 500 songs. Now what is this setting exactly about in cache is that if you stream any music from your NAS it will cache it locally, the last 500 songs at least. So what happens is it actually downloads the files before it plays them back. So this is why the caching is uh, actually uh, happening. So this concludes what the QMobile application can do for us today. We don't know if any added functionality will be added. We've seen a favorite Windows, which we can go back to here, but we couldn't find out what it is used for, and the explanation was actually limited because the application and the support of the NAS is not fully functional in this uh, current beta version. But my favorite should be something where you can store uh, your favorites later on. So this actually concludes the first uh, initiation of what the Q Nap Q Mobile can do for you once you install it on the iPhone and once you have uh, version 3.3 of the QNAP firmware installed on your NAS. I hope you enjoyed this little guide and see you next time.